it's 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 a bit depressing on on, on a few levels maybe uh, being in dublin you know because they have had underage success you know they've had minor success they've had under 21 success yeah they've had underage success but where are the players this are the players going playing football? It, it looks very much as if they are, and I think there's a. Well, some a, of their top young forwards have gone football playing. Yeah, football, you look like the Cormac Costello. I think Dublin have a, a big philosophical question to, to answer in terms of, you know, these guys are playing all the way up to minor. Are they taking the place of a player who they could be developing for the top grade? And if I was the person in charge, I'd be asking young lads at minor level. Do you want to play hurling or do you want to play football? Yeah. Well, you see, the problem is 10 of the team that started today, they're with Anthony Daly since he started, that's six years ago. So, I mean, there are very few players of quality have come through from the underage structure. So, and massive it's not, investment. It's not that he hasn't looked at them. Not, not yeah. that he hasn't looked at them yeah, yeah. and wouldn't recognise them. You yeah. take Tommy Dunn, Richard Statham, they'd recognise anybody. If they were there, they'd be on. Mm -hmm. Now, when you take the massive investment, financial, financial investment that has been in Dublin, and only how little has come through. I mean, Danny Sutcliffe you know, is really the only class forward, the class player that has come through in that six years. That's right. And so, it, sends, it, sends, it sends out a very bad message as well to the other kids who are coming along. And whilst it would be lovely if players were able to play a boat, the reality is that they're choosing football in Dublin. And it's a romantic idea that whoever's in control at minor level has to have them playing board codes. But can I ask you this? Say the under-15 development squad or 16, should they be hurlers only or should a dual player, a, a young lad, be allowed to play both games at that well, age. Well, I think if, you want, if a young lad wants to play football, you have to let him play football for his club especially. But what if he wants to play <laughs> both? But if, if it's for the county, there is no hope that he can play both for the county. That he cannot develop to his full potential as a hurler. If you, for, you know, if you're coming up, a young lad in Kilkenny, who you'll be playing if you're an inter-county hurler, mm. he's devoting no time to football. Mm. He's devoting all his time to hurling. So do you think, if you give half your time to football and half your time to hurler, hurling, mm -hmm. seeing that you're starting from a low base anyway, that you're going to match that Kilkenny fella when you come to 19 or 20? She so haven't got a hope. And that's reality. There's like Kilkenny are, are the benchmark for these guys, and like I said, it's romantic. But Is it another nail in the dual player, though, Don uh, It's Look, it's this competition. It's elite sport. And you can play a boat. Of course you can play a boat. Mm -hmm. You could play four or five sports. But you can't tell me that you're going to maximise your potential in either by trying to serve two such demanding masters. <coughs> That's exactly the point. You mm -hmm. cannot maximise your potential. And if you take even uh, uh, one of the stars of last year for Claire, Posh Collins. Now, why was he so good for Claire last year? Because any time he wasn't training with the team, he was out on his own practising hurling mm -hmm. with maybe 100 balls on his own, hitting them from all over the right. field. So look at the way he played. Now this year he concentrates, he does half and half, and he ends up with nothing. Yeah. You know, he isn't half the player, the hurler he was last year. So it is ju you, you can do it, but you will not be, how could you possibly be as effective okay. if you just concentrate on one? And remember, all of the strong football counties, they will put the gun to the, to the players' heads and say, Don't, if you play foot hurling, you will not play football for the county. So the hurling people have got to stand well, up and do the same thing and say, this is the way, we'll, we'll develop hold, you know, from 15, 16 onwards. If you concentrate on hurling, we'll give you all the attention and all the help we can. Yeah. But if you don't, better choose the football now. Yeah, well, in fairness, Brian Cuthbert, for instance, allows the lads to play dual, but it's abroad. I, I take the point you're making. But he's, he's, he's actually reviewing that as well at the end of the year. <laughs> I bet he yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>